Member for Vancouver West End. Thank you, Honourable Speaker. When I got the call, I was hit hard. A man I always knew as an unstoppable force of nature, for all that is good in the world, was no longer in this world. Jim Diva had died. It's been hard to process the loss of a man who was always a pillar of strength in times of pain, a man who did what he had to do to allow us all to love freely, to embrace sexuality without hiding it, to fight censorship and to fight for free speech and equality. Jim and his partner Bruce founded Little Sisters Bookstore in the 80s, a time when people couldn't get access to products and books for lesbian, gay, bi and transgender people because of fear and discrimination. In the first few years, indeed, the store was bombed three times because of hatred. But he continued on. He also had to face a Canadian government keen to ban and censor books being imported for gay and lesbian people. But with Janine Fuller, Bruce, and a growing community, he fought back all the way to the Supreme Court and won for free speech, won for liberty, and won for equality. Jim was vindicated and Little Sisters thrived. It is hard to process the life and the loss of a man so full of life and passion and love. But Jim would not want us to focus just on him. For Jim, it was always about encouraging a community to lead. Indeed, I likely wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for Jim's encouragement, and so many have similar stories. If you had a, a dream, Jim would ask you why you aren't working hard to achieve it. We all have a life to live. We all have so much to give in this fleeting, brief moment in this world. Now is the time to do it. I will miss you, Jim Diva. I don't believe you are gone. Jim, thank you for being you all of you, so we could be all we are. Rest in peace, Jim, and love.